Hello, this is the Progressive Cynic, and in this video I will be discussing the false equivalence of uh, the 2013 government shutdown. Now, for the most part, American politics is covered in a way which is, it, it promotes a massive false equivalency between the two dominant parties, the Democrats and the Republicans. People in power tend to say, oh, no, 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 um, one side says one thing, the other side says the other. Neither of them are entirely correct, and neither of them are entirely wrong, and the answer has to be somewhere in the middle. That's simply incorrect. It assumes that both parties are rational and both parties are attached to the facts. They're not. Democrats are largely attached to the facts and reasonably sane, while the Republicans are absolutely out of their minds. And when you take a halfway approach between these two parties, you get a policy which is only half insane, but it doesn't really work that well. Now, we cannot cover the 2013 shutdown in this way because it, it's simply not accurate. It was not two parties which turned this into a crisis. It was one party, the Republicans. Now, I don't think anyone will argue that the Democrats wanted a shutdown. On the other hand, we have 80 Republicans who actually signed a letter saying, oh, no, no, we want you to shut down the government, Mr. Boehner. And, put plainly, Boehner acquiesced to them. He's terrified of losing his speakership to someone on the right. We also saw the crazy antics of Mr. Uh, Ted Cruz doing his not filibuster filibuster, which he used to completely just turn the Senate into a clown show for about 21 hours. Now, it is the Republicans who caused this. They took a law, which they don't like, but which remains the law, and they said, okay, we can't destroy this through the traditional means of actually repealing it in the legislature. So we're going to use the unconstitutional method of nullifying the law by refusing to fund it specifically. Then we're going to try to, in, in order to try to do this, we're going to blackmail the Democrats by refusing to fund anything unless they refuse everything but the signature law of their leader, basically. This is not an issue where you can assign blame to the Democrats. Yeah, Democrats, they do some things wrong. They do a lot of things wrong. And personally, I don't like having to defend them. But in this case, all of the blame falls on the other people. At best, the Democrats are, or at worst, the Democrats are just being pathetic. I mean, if I were one of them, I would be standing up and just eviscerating the Republicans in the media. Because, put simply, the shutdown's hurting people. People are losing access to cancer uh, research or um, cancer trials. People are not getting fed. People are actually being furloughed and they're losing their livelihoods. It's, it's a terrible situation and it's completely unnecessary. Whenever someone tells you, oh no, no, Washington's broken because everyone is just at fault and both parties are awful. Say, yeah, both parties are pretty awful. But the Republicans are both awful and absolutely off of their rockers. They're nuts, crazy, and they have no ability to run a functional government. Democrats, they're not particularly good, but they're not hanging off the ceiling throwing feces at everyone. It's, it's just a depressing situation. Thank you. This has been The Progressive Cynic. Please follow my blog at theprogressivecynic.com and follow my YouTube channel.